Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is a book review of A Pin to See the Peep Show by F. Tess and Jessie. This book was first published in 1934, but was recently republished at the end of 2021 by the British Library as part of the British Library Women Writers series. And I was very kindly sent a copy for review. So thank you British Library for sending me uh, this book. I'm sure you know by now, I absolutely love the books that are coming out in this series. I think they're all such fantastic, fantastic reads. And I have found some new favorite books and some new favorite authors. So. That was wonderful. When I heard about the blurb of this one, I was instantly intrigued. And now that I have read it, oh, it's a good one. A Pin to See a Peep Show is a retelling, so to speak, of the events that took place in the early part of the 20th century in England, um, known as the Thompson Bywaters case, which essentially was Edith Thompson um, and her lover were both charged and punished by capital punishment uh, for the murder of Thompson's husband. And this book is like a retelling of that. It wasn't the first one um, and it probably, you know, possibly might be the last one, um, but it is a real distinctive, deep, meaningful book about this case. Now, the thing about this case is that for my undergraduate degree, which I did in sociology, for my dissertation, I looked at female murderers and um, how public perceived them in comparison to male murderers. So I was looking at people like Fred and Rose West, Myra Hindley and Brady, what public perception of the female was in comparison to the male. Um, and a case that I looked at was Thompson Bywaters. And I had some real interesting feelings towards Edith Thompson. I, my heart did go out to Edith Thompson because if you learn about her and learn who she is, actually she, she gets muddled in this, but it's, it's not what you might think of her as, um, really. And she's a fascinating woman who I thoroughly doesn't, don't personally believe that she deserved what happened to her, um, but it did. It's a true case that this book goes off. Um, and my sympathy does certainly lie with Edith Thompson. Um, I remember I watched a show, um, Murder Mystery in My Family, which is on BBC, and there was someone who was related to Edith Thompson going back, and what they essentially tried to do is they looked to see whether the case was safe, and could the, the family now possibly look into going through the courts actually getting a pardon for said person. And um, the case was seen as unsafe. So I hope that the family do go ahead and try to get a pardon for Edith Thompson. But yes, I had huge sympathy. And so when I was reading this book, I was thinking, I really, really hope that we're not gonna end up falling out, me and the author. Um, and we didn't. Um, so this book is about a woman called Julia. Julia is our Edith Thompson, so to speak. We see everything that happens through Julia's eyes, from her childhood, at school, through to her adolescence, through to her getting a job and getting married and a new home, through to her getting a lover, all the way through to what happens, happens. And the author has a real similar feeling to me with Julia and her sympathy certainly lies with her um, in this book. And it was so beautifully, beautifully told. I was so worried, but I really didn't need to be. It was such a well-written book that I would say if you're interested in history, you'd like this. If you're interested in true crime, you'd like this. If you're a fan of people like Agatha Christie, then actually I think you'll really like this because it does, have, of course, have that criminal element to it. But it is just such an emotional read and Julia was such a strong character and I read this so slowly and just how she is with her husband versus how she's with her lover and her family and it was just oh I love I just loved how Julia was written and I love the fact that despite that it's quite a big book for one of these British libraries that you know, it's one of these books that you could read in a couple of afternoons if you really wanted to, but it's a book that I just took my time over it and I was so glad that I did. The ending was so emotional and 
yeah, it was a real, real emotional investment of a book and it was kind of like the British Library was just going, here we go, here's a big one for you. This is so different to anything else that they have republished so far. Not in a bad way, it was dominant and powerful and moving and it was just an incredible book and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you are A, interested in reading some of the British Library stuff, which you should be because they're fantastic, but also, as I said, if you're interested in the history of true crime or if you're interested in um, women's history, I think you'll really, really like this. So highly, highly recommended. So that is my review of Appendice of Peep Show. Thank you again so much for the British Library for sending me a copy. I loved it. Um, <laughs> I would love to know your thoughts on A Pim to See the Peep Show. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the comments in the comments section below. If you haven't read it yet, is it on your wish list? Are you going to get around to reading it? Um, I'm very much looking forward to see what the British Library comes out with next. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I shall see you soon.